Hey YouTube, what's going on? Thanks for checking out this video. Um, I put together another video uh, today specifically to show you another workaround that I've created to record your friends um, in place of a party chat. Uh, this will not get game chat, uh, so if you're looking to record game chat, please check out my other video. I'll uh, leave a link in the description for you or the annotation on screen. For this video, I'm actually going to be using Skype on the Xbox One uh, in place of party chat uh, to talk to my friends. And I'll actually be using a second Skype account on my computer specifically to be in the Skype conversation to capture and hear all of the conversation to route it to my Elgato software. So getting started, we're going to need to go ahead and download Skype on your computer if you don't already, of course, have it installed. Um, so I'll have a link in the description as well as an annotation here on screen uh, for you to be able to click on that so you can get Skype downloaded. Once it's downloaded, you're just going to need to go ahead and get it open and get it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and get that open here. All we need to do from here is drag and drop the application to the Applications folder. Once we have Skype on the computer, we're also going to need to download and install Soundflower. This is also going to be needed as this is going to be the tool um, that I'm going to use to route all the Skype audio over to the Capture Recording software. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and if you are on a Mac, you will need to right click and use the open option to get through the security so we can continue through the installation. Uh, from there, just go ahead and continue through the on-screen instructions to finish installing that. It'll also require a restart when it's done. So I'll be right back with you guys after this restarts. Okay, so now that we have everything installed, we're going to go ahead and open up Skype on the computer and sign into a second Skype account. This needs to be different than the Skype account on your Xbox One, so you can add it to the conversation so it can hear you and your friends in the Skype conversation. So what we're going to need to do is use the Skype preferences in order to adjust the setup. The audio video settings for the microphone we're going to just use the soundflower 64 channel um, because we don't need a mic on this account for the ringing i'm going to set same to system and then for speakers we're going to hit select the soundflower 2 channel this is going to be where i want all of the audio to be sent so next we get to go over to the capture recording software select the microphone input as the soundflower 2 channel then we can just go ahead and turn this on from here, we can open up Skype on the Xbox One and call the account I signed into on the computer. So we're going to go ahead and answer this. Then we can go ahead and mute the microphone as we don't need to talk from the computer Skype account. It's just there to listen. So we're going to go over here, make sure the levels are OK. Check, check. Check, check. All right. So now we have our levels. At this point, we have everything set up and in place. You can use Skype on the Xbox One to add in your other friends to the Skype conversation so you can begin recording. The Skype application on the Xbox One works great instead of using the Xbox Live Party Chat as it can run in the background exactly like the Party Chat but it also gives you other benefits as I now don't have to use a second USB microphone to my computer just to record my voice as the voice audio is now being captured through the Skype, which is great. Another benefit is that if you decide to broadcast to Twitch on the Xbox One, the Twitch stream can actually hear everybody in your Skype conversation, whereas the Xbox Live Party Chat doesn't. You're also still able to use the mute buttons on the Xbox Chat Adapter or your stock Xbox One mic to mute yourself, uh, making it handy in case something occurs in the background that you don't want in your recording. 
But I hope this video helps. It has no adapters, uh, no external microphones are needed for this setup. It's the easiest and cheapest route to go at this point. So please stick around to hear an example of this in action. I also have a link in the description if you wanted to watch the whole game. But thanks again for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe to support my channel, and I'll see you next time. Oh. I don't, I don't know how I'm still alive. One more bullet. I would have been done. Did you really knife me? <laughs> you bitch. Yeah, I was a ninja until I got fat. <laughs> Gained some weight there. Oh, man. I got a subway that I didn't worry.